Hello everyone, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, a different scenery out here today. We're out here on the water, uh, poolside, out here, and uh, something a little different for a video. And we have a special guest over here, I think y'all remember him from the Chameleon Giveaway Antennas. Say hello to Benjamin. How's it going guys? Where are you? There you are. What's up Ben? How's it going? So Benjamin here, this is a video long overdue. Um, Benjamin is a uh, radio enthusiast slash weather enthusiast like I am. And he actually has my old Davis Vantage Pro 2 weather system. Uh, a great weather system. We're going to talk to Ben about that because another video uh, that I've done recently was the, the, one of my first uh, an update video, like a recap. How's this been since I had it? Well, I did do two videos on this and showed... Uh, you know how it's been performing and then people have been asking so what's up what's new well there's a couple new things and uh, Ben has them I'm going to show you what they are because they're brand new they're available from Davis and they're upgrades to this Vantage Pro 2 kit uh, or system so I want Ben because he's been playing with it to show us uh, give us a rundown real quick I'll chime in on what we have here and uh, why it's a beneficial upgrade for uh, multiple Davis um, stations because Davis is trying, you know, to make uh, the best there is and the most accurate there is. So, let me uh, let's look at Ben here. All right, so so Ben, tell us tell us what you what you have in your hand there. What did you take off? What is it? So this is the uh, Davis anemometer that comes with the Vantage View kit. Um, it's pretty reliable, but you know, got a lot of moving parts, and you know, living near the water and a lot of wind, sometimes it could malfunction. Did did it did that work though? It was still working. Yeah, it still worked great. But you know, I just, it's better to have something without moving parts. Right. And um, that's what I put up there now. It is the Davis uh, ultrasonic wind sensor. Ultrasonic wind, here, let me get the, the trees in my way. Hold on, there we go. The ultrasonic wind sensor by Davis. That's new, isn't it? Yep. So no moving parts. That kind of resembles uh, some that I work on uh, commercially for uh, you know organizations in the state of Florida that are bridge mounted and also my Tempest has the same thing ultrasonic so no moving parts right yes, correct. now for video's sake let me stop here for a second because I got to Benjamin's and I didn't get a chance to have it in hand after he had already mounted it so what is an ultrasonic sensor if you're if you're guessing it is using sonic pulses to detect the wind instead of moving parts okay I'm going to show you a couple things here real quick uh, per Davis and the manual so you can understand what we're talking about compared to the traditional spinning anemometer uh, for wind speed. Now, it does say from Davis captures wind speeds from 0 to 89 miles an hour. And that's 144 kilometers per hour using sonic pulses to detect air movement with no moving parts. Now, you may say, well, what about a hurricane season? I may get more than that. Well, that's the guaranteed speeds, and maybe it detects a little more than that. But, you know, for some people, like Benjamin had said, the trees may not be moving and you still have wind because it's not had enough to push the little cups around on the anemometer. Now, you can use this with, uh, you can use it for the Vantage Pro 2, as Benjamin is, the Vantage View, uh, or the Enviro Monitor node. And uh, it all works for the same for them. It comes with a 40-foot cable, one-year manufacturer's warranty. Now, if I look at the manual, by definition, the sonic anemometer is designed to measure wind-related conditions without moving parts. Pairs of electroacoustic transducers in the anemometer send sonic pulses back and forth and measure the time it takes for the pulse to travel from one to the other. This time is affected by the movement of the air, which allows the anemometer to calculate wind speed and direction calibrated by temperature measurements. The sonic anemometer has its own solar panel, which charges its internal battery. You can see here, I didn't get to see that, a solar panel on the top. It can be used with EnviroMonitor node to add wind data to EnviroMonitor system, as well as replacement anemometer to your Davis weather station. Installed in a sensor transmitter, it can be used to include additional wind stations in your existing system when reporting to a weather link live. So that is the, you know, the little gap here. If I go back to the picture, the little gap here has four transducers in there, transducers. And when the wind passes through, um, you know, you mount this thing with a, uh, a spot that's on here that's marked north. You mark it, mark it north so you can tell which way the speed or the wind is coming from direction and the wind passes through this gap right here and it can determine the wind speed without any moving parts and so you mounted that on top of a pole there 
um, did, did that come with the mount here? Where's my finger? There. That came with the mount and the pole, or is that something? Or did you just get the head up here? So all it comes with is the the black base, then the the actual unit itself, and then the clamps. The the pole is not included. Oh, that the, not not this pole, but the the little metal pole up there. Yeah, is. the okay. metal pole okay. is included. All right. Now that plugs into the existing sensor where uh, this one plugs in. Yep. So there's there's really nothing you have to. It's just a little RJ11 there. Okay, so you opened that up and plugged it in, and that was a really relatively easy installation. You agree? Yep. I mean, did you have to change anything on the Davis uh, system to recognize ultrasonic? No, not at all. Just just came right on. Yeah, plugs in right there at the wind sensor, right where this one would plug. How's in. that for a while? We're looking at that. How's that box been in there? Still no corrosion? Is there no any corrosion. kind of bugs getting in there or anything? Nope, nothing. No, it's been good. This this was always a good weather station for me, and you can see the um. The, the uh, you know because he, he really wanted one and uh, so you know I, I changed it up and and I didn't want this to just get lost or tossed or you know unused in the shed so he could he could play with it but uh, you can see I, I kind of worn off the Davis here when I used a little bit of a cleaner to get the mildew off after a couple of years and right away he's like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna replace that or put new letters on or something but uh, overall it's been holding up quite well yes yep absolutely and you know something I noticed about the ultrasonic wind sensor is even when the trees aren't moving it's still picking up the wind and versus this where it takes quite a bit of wind to to get it moving right so so that would be a little more accurate yeah then. definitely more accurate now what would you say about high winds like uh when you're talking about uh during you know when you have some storms come through or whatever does that thing read really high i mean what's do you know if it says a max uh I, i'm gonna i'm gonna say this on my own experience this one here at some point when you're hitting 80 miles an hour i think or, or even not 80 miles an hour, that thing gets thrown a little more with the cups. Although it does work, I think at higher speeds, um, that ultrasonic wind sensor might be a little more accurate. Yeah, I agree. You know, with this, the, you know, sometimes the weather vane could get, you know, at the wrong direction at, at some point. And um, just overall, I think it's a really good upgrade because, you know, like, like Eric said, there's no moving parts and this can't break. You can't break off. Well, with that, you can't break off any anything compared to this, where you get wind, or just being in the sun, the plastic can start, you know, right. to to break down and then eventually break off. So I, I really think, you know, I've had really good luck with it. I've caught winds right now. A couple of days ago, it was like 40, and it held up like a champ. Yeah, because you're on the you're on the beach side over here, so you get wind all day long, all day long. Whereas, uh, and it's only probably blowing, you know, a few miles an hour right now, but. Uh, over where I'm at, I'm about eight miles inland, and sometimes there's not enough, there's wind moving, and this unit right here that spins may not be moving even though the trees are a little bit. So I think uh, you'll be able to pick up even, you know, a half a mile an hour wind, 0 0.5, whatever, on the ultrasonic sensor. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, cool. So so we'll look at the app again in a minute. You have this thing up on uh, Weather Underground? Yep, Weather Underground. Davis uh, Link or Davis Platform, yep. whatever. Cool, and uh, that's been working well on the on the app and all that. Yep. Does it show you on the app if it if it shows what kind of wind sensor? Like, hey, this is a Davis in Vero Beach with a moving part or a ultrasonic, or it doesn't give you the option to look at that? I'm not quite sure, but I know in the uh, computer software there is an option for the ultrasonic one. And you know what I did was I I, I contacted the National Weather Service because I am a Skywarn spotter. And I, I told him, hey, I just put this new ultrasonic wind sensor from Davis. You know, you guys are more than welcome to check it out. And they really liked it. Oh, cool. So I, I would say that the National Weather Service would consider an ultrasonic sensor for their reports if they're looking at somebody's backyard weather station more over than a moving part. They probably think you got a little more accurate data, you know? Interesting. Uh, anything else that you've noticed before we move on to the second new part that you got? Uh, anything else that you've noticed about this unit um, or, or that you like or don't like or what would you tell people that want like a Vantage Pro 2? I mean, I, I know that that's, you know, Davis is an industry standard. People, uh, you know, know Davis. When you say you got a Davis Vantage Pro 2, that's that's a, that's not no new Kickstarter. That's, uh, a, you know, I think Davis is the only one that recorded winds up to 200 miles an hour uh, in history. Is there anything else that you could add on the, the Davis before we move on? No, I just think it holds up very well. You know, I've had it for almost seven months. I got it from Eric, and Eric, how long have you had it? Uh, two years, I think. Yeah, so, yes. you know, being on the beach, we got a lot of stuff that corrodes and stuff, and you just really, it's held up very well. I mean, the rain tipper, everything is just held up very well. Yep. 
new, you know, the humidity sensor, I've never had a problem with it. So overall, just, I highly recommend this unit over any other weather station. Yeah, it's a little bit more pricey. You get what, trust me, you get what you pay for in this situation. Yeah, for sure. You get, and, you know, just the Davis software on your phone, the Davis software on the computer, and it being able to, to, you know, go to weather underground and stuff like that. It's just so can you pull up on the phone real quick? Yeah. Let me look at that real quick. All right, so what is this, right? This is the uh, the Davis site? Yeah, this is the, the app? Yeah, Weatherlink. Yeah. Weatherlink, Okay, yeah. all right, I remember that app. So here we are right here. We got winds right now at three mile, two miles an hour at the north-northeast, so very accurate. And really, Davis has done a really good job engineering this app. Love it. Very, it gives you a lot of historical data. Yeah. It's very easy to read. Very user-friendly as well, and just really really cool you got the the compass there for the uh the wind speed and then there's the wind down there so right. highly highly recommend the, the whole system and just davis i think does a very good job doing it and tell and tell me because I've, I've already said this before why do you think because i've already told this to my wife and some other people why do you think it's important for those who are interested in weather to have one in your backyard versus looking on the on the uh the map or the well, wherever you know to, to, for a good point here is you know living near the the beach you know we have the sea you know the water makes the temperature warmer and i live maybe 10 miles away, five miles away from the the airport and that's usually where they have it is the yeah. airport yeah that's where the you know the weather channel collects their data from and it was showing 32 degrees at the airport five miles to here i was getting a temperature of 38 degrees and it was accurate because i had a thermometer outside also and the same thing for the rain you know when when they say oh it hasn't rained all day or the rain is 0 0.1 there's been some times where i've recorded an inch and a half in my backyard which was like you know a couple miles from the airport and yeah. they're like no no rain today and there's like you know for those who are interested in uh, uh vegetation or or lawn service or or uh, uh plants or farming or whatever that makes a difference yeah I, I, I got a buddy that you know they have a, a grapefruit farm and they just bought two Davis units and absolutely love it. Yeah. You know, just very, you know, they, it being wireless, they can have it in their field and then get their data right to their phone. Yes. And it's just very accurate and they've had nothing great. They've, they've only had good things to say about it. Yeah. So now, now go get the other part. We're going to show you the, uh, the second part he's had set up and he's going to, we're going to move it for this, uh, just to show you outside here on a different situation. We got another little part that he picked up that uh, is something brand new and he's gonna show us right now while I sit here and take a swim in the pool. Do we have umbrellas for our drinks? All right, so for the second little upgrade that is new from Davis as well, Benjamin, tell us about this Davis part here. So this is the Davis Airlink. Um, it's basically not as complicated as the weather station if you're just looking to get temperature, humidity, and air quality. This is really what this is focused on is air quality. And it just gives you a bunch of, you know, like pollen, smoke, stuff, you know. Uh, if you have respiratory problems or stuff like that, asthma, this is a really good tool because it updates every 30 seconds and it's very, very accurate. So when you say the air, like like air quality, I think they call it AQI, air quality index. Yeah. Like a UV index tells you 1 to 10, this is probably the same way with air quality. Yeah. So, you know, like right now, my the on the app here as you can see so it shows now cast aq okay yeah um it shows you know the temperature humidity sun you know you get even get the sunrise and sunset um and so there's the now cast um so here's like you know like scale of like good to bad yeah exactly so like on the weather channel you know sometimes you see the air quality in, yeah. the, in the right hand corner mm -hmm. but this will be right in your backyard so it's really really so accurate. that yeah so let me see the unit there so that's it what why is there two pieces there so this can either be mounted inside or outside your home okay it is on right a, now you just have it plugged into the yep. plug in just for video demonstration okay it's on a usb so you can plug it into your laptop or davis also includes a power brick wall work yeah okay so it you know very let me see around at that so there's, there's the lights sensors. in there huh yeah okay and so if you want to instead of mounting it on the wall it ha comes with little feet and it davis includes little rubber pads and you can just set it like on your outdoor table or on right. your kitchen table okay if you like and davis also this is all included in the uh kit 
They also do include this screws. This is the entire kit right here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they also include screws for the wall mount. If you want, you can slide this on here. Just like that. So that clips in and you screw that bracket so you can always remove it if you'd like to. Right, so that, so that would, you'd screw the bracket and you just slide that thing on the yeah. wall. And, okay. And then this is the rain cover. So if it's outside, this slides over it. Oh, okay. To protect the sensor right. from the outdoor elements. And so it's a nice Davis logo there. Yeah, so I think I think uh, what you had said was, I think up there you, you're going to try it outside in the outlet, right? You had it running inside at once. Yeah. And you have an outlet out there, and it's protected from the element, you know, at least from being rained on and stuff. So uh, you're going to try it there. and, and uh, But you, you have been looking at it, right? And, yep. and it's, it's given you uh, some data. Do you have to have a Davis system to use this? No. So, oh, you don't? No. So oh, that's not an upgrade for the Davis uh, Vantage Pro 2. Well, they are. You can interlink them. So like on like the Davis app, it'll say, add a station. Do you want to link to your weather station? Ah, okay. But so it's you, all in one app. Yeah. You, oh, okay. I thought this was a part for the Davis set, but this is by itself, in, in fact. Yes. So it, that's why it gives you temperature and humidity. Yeah. Gotcha. So if you didn't want to invest the money in the weather station, this will still give you... You know, just your basics. It does not give you wind speed or anything like or that, but it gives yeah. you, you know, it, the temperature, the humidity, sunrise, sunset, and then a forecast. Even in the app, it does give you that. And does that that doesn't show up on Weather Underground? I think does it? Does it show up in the Davis? It shows up in the Davis it, app. Yeah. So on Weather, you know, on Davis's Weather Link app and and map and stuff like that, it will show up. Not positive, 100 percent sure about Weather Underground yet. Okay. Um, but it definitely really good tool to have yeah. if you're you know interested in the weather or just like I said you know you have asthma you know right now we have a lot of pollen going on you know it's springtime this is really good for people with allergies and wants to know what's I can going tell you on. what my truck is is hideous with the the pollen and all that I mean it gets dusty you know uh, it, it's where I we're out there where I live at this part of the year this time of the year it gets really uh, I can tell when my eyes water and my nose won't stop running that probably has to do with the air quality and next then. Um, I wonder what would happen if you had like a brush fire and you had smoke everywhere. I wonder if that would detect. So in the app, when you're setting up the station, it does sh ask you, do you live in a very, very heavily wooded area or is there a lot of smoke in your area on a normal basis? And you can check that off and it will calibrate itself to read, you know, things that are out of the ordinary. Ah, okay. Stuff like that. Okay. So, you know, say you have like, you know, a neighbor that always does your campfire or stuff like that at night, you know. It won't set it off if you check that mark off in your um, uh, in the app. So right. Definitely a really really awesome, not necessarily upgrade, but it is definitely compatible with the weather station. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, but it is also a standalone unit, and it uses the same weather link app from Davis. And again, very I set it up in 30 seconds, and it's already online. So it, it works really really well. Highly highly recommend this product. Sweet. Thanks, Benjamin. No problem. So it's awesome to, to get to come out here and learn things from others like Benjamin here. Uh, he just taught me about the uh, weather link and, or the, the air link rather, and the uh, ultrasonic anemometer or sonic anemometer on his Davis uh, Vantage Pro 2 here. So a beautiful day out here to get some footage. Uh, do you want to say goodbye to everybody, Ben? Bye, guys. Hey, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see him more because he's going he's gonna to have a jet ski soon and, and, and uh, he's going get, to get some drone footage and, and you'll, you'll see Ben more when we get some fast jet skis. We'll go bombing bombing up and down the water over here just like he did with my golf cart across the street uh, doing donuts but uh everybody have a good rest of your weekend whatever's left of it more videos on the way and uh 73 this is kj4 yzi